to my first video. Um, today I'm going to be doing what's in my clinical bag. <clears throat> um, but first, I want to say a little bit about me. My name is Jen. Um, I'm 26 years old. I'm a single mom to two boys. And I'm in nursing school. So, that is what this channel is going to be about. Just life. Um, nursing school and kids yeah so all right let's get started um my bag came from Amazon and it comes in so many colors it is so cute I'm obsessed that I actually have two of them and um, <clears throat> they're like seven and eight dollars so super cheap only thing I don't like about it is that it's it doesn't stand up on its own but other than that it's very roomy and I like to put like you can fit a drink in here Gonna say that that fits actually. It doesn't fit. Okay. Okay. So let's get started with the stuff on the side. I always bring a little thing of Kleenex in every. They're in every single bag I have. So I have Kleenex, Purell. Have this on every bag as well. Chapstick, very important, especially. I'm gonna put some on right now, especially in the hospital. It's very dry, and you really want to have it when you're giving oral care to a patient and your lips are chapped and you don't have chapstick. It really sucks. And pins. I just use like whatever pin I'm, I've got. I wouldn't recommend taking your favorite pin because someone will take it. Um, another thing I have, and I actually have some of these on my badge reel, but I got these on Amazon, these little car reference cards. There's like the pain scale and weights and lengths and dosage calculations, EKG, all kinds of stuff. So I got these on Amazon as well. There's like a million different kinds. And they don't really like show you what's going to be on the cards. They just say reference cards. So I like these well enough. So the next thing I have is this. I have like hairbrush, a charger, hair, extra hair ties because you have to have your hair up for clinicals. Okay, now to the good stuff. Have this stethoscope case from Amazon. It's super cute. And first up is my stethoscope. It is so pretty. White and rose gold from MDF. And MDF, right there. Um, my uncle has been a nurse for a really long time. Recommended this to me. It's pretty much exactly like the, what's it called? The ones that everybody, the ones that everybody is carrying around. Sorry, I got a text. Um, what is it called? Anyway, it is comparable to the common one that everybody carries around. God, that is going to bother me this whole time. I have no idea what it's called. Anyway, okay, now, my badge. This is a terrible picture. I was like nine months pregnant when they took this picture, and I was so uncomfortable, and it was the middle of summer. It was so hot. Um, 
I just got this butterfly badge clip that I'm obsessed with. It is on Amazon. I'm going to link it. They have a lot of different colors. Um, if you know me, you know that I love, well, mostly I love moss, but people don't care about moss so much, so I got the butterfly instead. Um, and I'll tell the moss story later, but yeah. I love this so much, and then I always have the tape on here, and I have I used to have a highlighter, but I'm not I'm not gonna recommend it because it broke really fast and they're just really cheap. But usually I will keep a mini highlighter on here. It's really useful in clinicals and if you work in the healthcare setting, um, you'll use it a lot. And then I also have the mini Sharpie. And then I have the little the little badge buddy. So that's my badge. I'm so I'm so obsessed with this thing. Okay, and then we have bandage scissors and forceps I always keep the bandage scissors on me and like a lot of nurses they don't carry these they're like does someone have scissors we need scissors and I'm like I got them I'm always prepared I'm that's very important to me um I also have these pin lights that I I love these so much they're so cute and I got one in like the little skills pack they gave us at the beginning of nursing school but my son likes to play with those and I knew they were gonna break and they did he broke them so I got these sturdy ones they are um, they're battery powered so you put battery in them um, the only thing I don't like about them is like the light is so bright it's a little too bright It'll blind you. And there's but what I keep in this. I also have like <laughs> flushes and what is it? The light is terrible in here. I hate the light in here. What else? I carry around a lot of alcohol swabs. And then they just kind of wind up in my bag. So there's that. And I keep this little folder with me. It has, and I've stapled some stuff in here for reference, like drug prefixes right here, just so I can kind of glance at it and maybe memorize it every once in a while. And then we have drug cards that we do, and then I transcribe them into a Word document, like just by bullet points. And so I carry that with me just in case. And just some random papers in here. I also have this printout that I made. Covering my face. I have this printout that I made it, um, for assessment. I just have everything listed here. I keep covering my face up with this thing. Um. Yeah, the head to toe assessment, and I just kind of fill it in. I might stop bringing this with me. I might condense it to one page because I've kind of gotten like assessment down. This is really helpful if like your first starting health assessment in your first semester. Um, and then I have, a <coughs> excuse me, this little chart for vital signs, meds, I knows. I have the cranial nerves sounds, stuff about hypertension, blah, blah, blah. And I might stop carrying that around with me because it's a lot of paper to carry around. This notebook, I used to carry around the little memo pad, but it is not sturdy enough for me to take notes on. So I have this and it fits in my scrub pocket just fine. And I got this from Walmart. You can probably get this anywhere. also have this foldable clipboard. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you've watched any videos, I think everybody has them. Um, and I used to use it for work, so I have some wear and tear, some stickers and stuff on it. So this is a foldable clipboard. Um, it can fit in your scrub pockets, but I don't like it in my scrub pocket. Um, 
and it just has a lot of references on it. Um, I stopped using this for a while, but I might start using it again. And this, I'll link below. You can get it on Amazon, but I, I find that they hike up the prices on Amazon. So I would go directly to the website, White Coat Clipboards. That is who sells this. So, or check it on Amazon. It might be cheaper, I don't know. My um, uncle actually sent that to me as a gift, so I don't know how much it is, but I guess you can find out for yourself. Okay, the next thing that I have are these shoes. We have to wear all black leather shoes to clinical, okay? And I used to have, I used to wear these $50 Dr. Scholl's and they're not comfortable, okay? Don't let them fool you, Dr. Scholl's is garbage, okay? These are the Dr. Scholl's, they're hideous. Yeah, and they hurt your feet. I got these that look like actual shoes, tennis shoes. They look like fabric, but they're not. I don't know if you can see it. Whatever. I got these at Walmart for $28, I think. And that we have to wear an undershirt with our scrubs. So I get mine. I mostly wear white undershirts. I'm always wearing long sleeves. I always wear long sleeves. I don't, I don't like having my arms uncovered because I get cold really easily. So this one I wear a lot. It's from Target. It's so comfortable, super soft. And then I have one from Kohl's that has like the little thumb holes in it that I really like to wear. But mostly I wear just this white long sleeve shirt from Walmart that I got for four dollars. The last thing I like to bring to clinical is <laughs> my hydro jug that took forever to get out. Um, this comes in so many colors. The little sleeve keeps it from like sweating out everywhere and you can also carry it on your shoulder which is like super useful in everyday life, especially when you have kids. I used to carry around my Bubba cup, which I still like to use like around the house. But when you have a baby carrier, a four-year-old, the four-year-old's bag and all of his stuff that he wants you to carry because he doesn't have arms apparently. And you're carrying the baby's bag as well and your keys and your phone that's a lot of stuff. It's really hard to carry just like a regular cup. So I would recommend getting the sleeve if you're on the go a lot and you have a lot of stuff. I carry a bunch of stuff with me. So anyway, Hydro Jug it has the straw won't pop out. A straw that goes with it? You have to actually buy it separately. But when you when you close the um, the lid, it bends down. It's really nifty. I would recommend getting the, the straw. It comes in so many colors, they're so cute. And it is a half gallon jug, so you don't have to fill it up a million times during the day. And you know you're staying hydrated when you finish one. So I actually found out about this from Holly Gabrielle. Love her channel. Love her content on Instagram. Funny story, actually she has a code and I went to get my hydro jug and I completely forgot that Holly had a code and I paid full price. Um, if you don't know her, I'd go follow her. Also want to give a shout out to my friend Maddie, who was one of my first YouTubers. Actually, my first video that I ever watched of hers was What's in My Clinical Bag. So, she kind of inspired me to start this. So, Maddie, if you're looking at this, you're awesome. 
anyway, so that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, wherever the button is.